Okay, welcome back. So here's the last video of the project. Um, really, if we go back to the rubric, we have three variables. The speed goes up as the game goes on. The score goes up. The lives go down. The paddles move correctly. The ball bounces correctly, but it's not a function or a block. So we need to make that custom block. The ball bounces correctly. Um, and then really, this is what we need to work on. So when we get to some high score, we win. And when the lives run out, you lose. And then you can restart the game. Okay, we do have comments. Uh, we have good variable function names. Uh, our game will restart correctly once we set that up. And we've got some smooth gameplay. And then it's really just what extension are you going to add? So really, we just got to do win, lose, and custom block. That's what we're doing in this video. Again, the rubric is super helpful. So back over here, let's do the custom block first because it's so quick. We've already dealt with if we're touching the paddle, turn, and then wait until you're not touching the paddle, right? And so I can just right click. Oh, no, sorry. In here, I was going to right click. I'm used to other things. So I'm going to make a command block that simply says if on paddle, comma, bounce. Right, so I'm modeling the if on edge bounce. I'm just naming it if on paddle bounce. I'm gonna click OK. Here it is. And I'm just gonna drag all of this in there and click OK. There we go, if on paddle bounce. Now, if everything works correctly, we should get all the same gameplay because I didn't change anything. All I did was put it into a package. All right, everything seems to be going well. The ball speed's going up, the score's going up. If I miss, the lives go down. All right, so here we go. Now all we need to do is deal with when we lose and when we win. So I'm gonna start with lose first because we've already somewhat got that set up. What we've got is when the X position gets to right, so it goes out of the screen, broadcast that you lose a single life, okay? So what's gonna happen? Well, we take away one life, we go back to the center. I wanna add to this a little bit. What I wanna do is also stop the ball from moving. So if it's going out, I don't want it to just keep going. I want it to pause for a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's set, because we have a ball speed here, let's set the ball speed to zero. And then let's wait a second or two, right? I don't know. Let's maybe wait two seconds. Okay, maybe we say a message. And then after that two seconds, we will set the ball speed back. So we started at, five so let's start it back at five then so now when the ball goes out oh it stays still and then it starts okay great we could even point it in a different direction again so set the ball speed to zero wait two seconds so the ball isn't moving at all and then when we're ready to start the game over again so everybody's paused everybody knows what's going on then let's point in a direction and start the ball Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, pause. Where's it coming? Boom, game started again. Okay, so now we've got one life going on and it respawns, waits a second, and then boom, here we go. All right, look at that. Everything's working well, so let's stop that. But now let's deal with we've lost too many lives. So we take away one life. Here's all the reset stuff that we're going to do. But first, we should check, hey, you know what? Maybe the game's over. So let's pull in, before we do all the reset, let's just pull in a, right here. So the lives just went down by one, and we can reorder this later. Um, but before we even do anything, let's just check if the lives remaining is less than and you can do less than one, so zero is dead, or you can say less than zero. When we're on the zero balls remaining, they still get one last chance. Totally up to you. Let's do um, zero is a last chance. So with zero balls remaining or lives remaining, they could still play the game. All right, so every time they lose a life, we're gonna take one away and then check. Can they still keep going or did they lose? And so I'm just gonna use a quick broadcast just to separate what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to broadcast and wait. Again, I'm not going to go to a forever loop because then the end wait would never end. And then I'm going to broadcast a new message saying game over. Okay, now what do I want to do for game over? For me, 
what I want to do is I'm going to draw a new thing. Or actually, I'm going to find, I'm going to just Google game over screen. Okay, and I'm going to pick one. I don't know. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one. Nice and simple. Okay, so I'm going to just right click. I'm going to save this as, I'm going to save it as game over. Oh, look at my memes I was working on. So I'm going to save it to my desktop as game over. While we're at it, I'm going to go with a U win. Okay, and let's uh, pick one. Oh, yeah, purple gold confetti. Oh, it's got that stock thing at the bottom. Let's go with this one. That looks great. Oh, wow, that's kind of low res, but that still seems great. Okay, so let's save this as U win. All right, so now we got both. We'll go back to the game. I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to name it Game Over. And then I'm actually going to get rid of that space and give it an underscore because in programming, we don't really want spaces when we can avoid it. I'm going to make another object that's called you win. All right. And so now all I need to do is import these costumes. So I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to import from my desktop. Oh, all those fun memes. I'm going to do the game over. OK. And for the you win, I'm going to go to import and I'm going to grab the you win. All right. So now all I need to do is set these up. So when the game starts, I immediately want to hide this. And then whenever I get the message, so when I receive the message saying game over, then I want to show it. Now, to be really clear, I don't just want to show it. I also want to go to zero, zero point in direction and let's see it's not big enough so i also want to um where is set size to and i'm just going to enlarge it so let's try i don't know 130 there we go game over perfect i'm just gonna move that look at that we could try 125 oh yeah still fits we could try 120 oh that's perfect i think that looks great okay so i'm gonna add that in there and then what I'm going to do is just a simple, I don't know, let's wait for a little while, give them some time to really think about that. And then let's broadcast another message. Oh, got a meeting coming up. Let's broadcast another message that simply says, oh, we don't need to wait because this will just end. So we'll just broadcast start a new game. There we go. So game over, three seconds, and then we start a new game. And when we start a new game, um, I'm just going to go when I receive, start a new game. All we need to do is hide this, right? So when the green flag starts or when we start over a new game, so start at the beginning or start a new game, I'm going to hide. I'm also going to use start a new game after I win too, but I'm going to use the exact same. St oh, star a new. That's no good. But that's okay. Let's leave it. Now nah, let's fix it. Okay, start a new game. Okay, and then I'll switch this to start a new game. All right, so I'm going to do basically the same thing over here. I can even copy my code over here. Um, I'm going to have to stretch it um, more. So I'm going to go over here. So at the beginning, I hide it. When I start a new game, I hide it. But when I receive the message, um well i haven't done it yet so you win then show this go to center i can even say um go to the front layer although we have no other layers so that's kind of redundant um but yeah we should do that okay so let's go over here let's maybe set it to 180 and try it again woohoo you win now I'm going to keep trying to stretch this, but this one might not fit our canvas size super well. Oh, it fits it perfect. Oh, that's pixely and not the best looking. But there we go. Then three seconds later, start a new game. All we need to do is go to each other game object. And just like at the beginning, it went to zero, zero. Now for this, it doesn't really matter because forever it's following the mouse. So we don't need to restart that. Over here, we could say go to the beginning. But again, it's just going to follow the ball Y position. So we don't need to do that. We do need to go to the ball, though, and say, what do we need to do at the beginning when we start a new game? So I'm going to bring in a 
when I receive, and it doesn't matter for win and lose because this stuff can be happening in the background maybe. Uh, if you want, what you could do is say, um, let's see, before I broadcast that, I could set the ball speed to zero already. That way, this the whole time of set, the game over and wait the ball speed will be zero the whole time we're waiting three seconds and then it'll say restart and so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say when i re when i get start a new game what do i need to change let's look through all of this okay well i need to duplicate this i'm going to change it but I do need to set up the position, the direction, and all the variables. All right, let's check down here. All that forever loop will still be running. So the ball position will be updating. It'll still be moving. It'll still be bouncing. If it goes to the right, set that up, okay? Um, if we get lose a life, great. That won't happen at the start of the game. And if on paddle bounce. Okay, so these are all the variables we need to set up. So at the start of the game, I'm going to do this same ball speed zero and wait. I think that's helpful. So right at the beginning, we could set the ball speed to zero for a split second. So before we set it to five, so I'm going to rearrange these. I have this five. And then I'm just going to put a little weight in here. So duplicate, and I'm just going to steal the weight. So I think it's useful to set all the variables up, give the player a second, and then set the ball speed to five. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so at the beginning, we start playing. I could add a little wait time in there. And then let's say, oh no, I missed it. Two lives. Wait for two seconds, go. Okay, this time, wait for one. Okay, great. And then, oh, I missed it again. I'm at zero, I got one last chance. And oh shoot, I missed, game over. So it should wait a few seconds here. Restart, all the variables are reset and we're ready to go playing, okay, great. So now all we need to do is say, when do you win, right? We obviously lose when it goes out of the screen, okay? Now all we need to do is say when we win. Well, since the um, computer paddle never misses, the way we're gonna win is simply when the score gets to some height point. So I don't wanna do it um, in the if paddle bounce, that would be a terrible spot to do it. Instead, I'm just gonna do it in the one forever loop for the ball, and I'm simply gonna put in a if. So here's if you lose a life, right? So essentially if you lose, and then all we're gonna do, I'm gonna clean this up really quick, then all we're gonna do is say if the score ever gets higher than something, then broadcast the message, where is up top? So then I'm gonna broadcast, I'm gonna say wait so this loop doesn't keep going. I'm gonna say you win and go ahead and wait. Again, I'm gonna clean up so it just spreads it out vertically. All right, now I'm gonna start with something easy, like when it gets bigger than 500, just to test it out. Okay, ready? Oh yes, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, one more hit, yeah, I win. And then it should wait a few seconds and restart. Okay, and that's it for the basics. Now you have a million different things here that you could do to make this project more interesting or extended. A few simple ideas is you could add some sound effects, like right here, if on paddle bounce, you could simply edit this. And when it hits the paddle, you could just like go to sounds and just go play sound. Um, so every time it touches the paddle, just play a sound and, oh, I don't have any sounds? What the heck? I need to bring in some sounds. But that's a really simple thing you can do is just play a sound. Uh, you could also, shoop, I'm gonna get rid of that. You could also, instead of having these variables just floating around, you could draw these on the screen. So something like up here, you could make a custom block. Now I would make it probably in the pen that would be um, draw variables, and it would just be a quick little custom block. You could put it right in here, and all it would do is draw the speed up here, or draw the score, or draw the lives. Maybe the number of lives are like three little pong balls at the top, 
And when you um, lose a life, the pong ball disappears. So there's tons of options that you could do. Uh, but I'm just going to leave right there. The extensions are up to you. All right, guys, good luck.